Hi guys, welcome to another video related to Samsung Galaxy J7 2016 and in this video we are going to review the Supernova Estate version 3 official Okay, uh, last by one or two days before I have reviewed the Supernova Estate version 3 Pro It was the uh, uh, last year's, uh, uh, sorry what last year's It was the last update of the Supernova series and this is the latest ROM in the Supernova series which is the version 3 official so let's review it and interview test is uh, like same on the, the version 2 so i will post the score in the comment section without making this video too long so let's review it now A first step is to boot into T drive recovery mode. So let's go to T drive recovery by pressing the volume button, home button, and power button. If you are not understanding uh, some of my sayings, not saying like what the words I am using here, please write down in the comments so that I can improve a lot. Go to wipe, dial the system, data, cage. Okay, before doing this, go to backup and do everything. Take everything and internal storage SD card and swipe to backup. Then go to wipe, select this 4, no need to wipe internal storage or SD card. And go back, go to install and here's the Supernova Asset version 3. The link is down in the description below. So please do not hesitate to check it. Okay. Now we back up PFS, it has our my installer but without options. So why do you guys do this? You should automatically back up EFS. So yeah, this will not take a heft lot of time. The ROM has been installed, click next and click reboot device, yes. There is nothing add on to uh, flash here, so uh, I reboot device. It has Galaxy Asset, the old boot logo only, so uh, uh, it's not adopted to version 3, that is the original. Boot animation is, uh, I don't know, okay, okay, asset boot animation, so we see asset boot animation, can I have a close look for you guys cannot see so this is SL boot animation and uh, it's uh, really small compared to other uh, because the uh, DPI is not fitting here it's fitting but not like that so let's save with this ROM and let's see what inside this the ROM has booted up and it has a lot of cool new features like the air command the nougat style, uh, asset style, and nougat bar panel, diffusion panel, and the sim one is also there. So in the next version, uh, I think it will be removed. So that will it look look it will look more clean. We have some more bloatware here, like the kernel tutor, the uh, deep sleep fix is for the deep sleep battery drain fix, which I don't know. I have not uh, really experienced that, uh, so I don't know. Air command we have here. We have some. Uh, things about the air command we also have the smart select and in which all of these do not work but this animation from the galaxy s8 works really great we can drop it down using this thing and then record and it will uh, be looking like a gf if you move it here and there so it will be looking like a GIF so if you are in a video if you are playing a video on YouTube you can easily be with GIF so if you are uh, watching a movie or watching a video any video you can make GIF so now we can look up the apps the clock apps the font are also very great from S7 S8 fonts camera working popularly great Front camera is also working. All these modes, 
are also working see here we get all these modes in the front camera we get this modes and this will not work in any ROM yes I know now going here so yeah this won't work I don't know why it doesn't work and yes multitasking is very fast no lag at all great performance let's see the first boot which uh, how many RAM we get free this is not uh, we can't say this first boot first boot and using some apps let's see already there was I think 800 MB free I didn't uh, watch it okay so we get 733 MB free but this is not the main thing okay the main uh, RAM which we get after first boot is up to like uh, 935 MB this is after I have used it for some time oh sorry for this uh, shaking thing and we have a kernel editor we have opera max for data saving we have touch controls for youtube like directly touching controls no need for this volume and plus buttons we have wiper 400 fx and you need to install the driver you will also need to grant permissions so drivers install and you will need to reboot your device uh, to the for the wiper 400 to take place like it has the effects so the effects for taking place going to model number we get here A520F and 6 and all your device info now you can change your name here device name battery info software info we get here and applications we get the older sound notifications and all and antidote score was really good by the way for this galaxy 716 normal way and uh, we do not get anything else in here let's see okay we don't get we get some uh, samsung apps and this extra bloat will like kernel editor the air command so you can also delay remove the air command uh, from system preview apps air command and those both files so if you like this video press the like button here it is if you don't press the dislike button and show the feedbacks down in the comment section and yeah there will be more videos coming on this json 2016 so please subscribe and goodbye nothing to say more and yes comment for any help or queries or anything comment down below so goodbye and i will see you in the next video bye